Hey, what's up guys? Tech Guy Hodge here. And this is a quick video. This was not meant to be the video I was going to put out today. It, would, it was actually going to be a case review. But I found something out very interesting which I thought I should make a video about because a lot of people have been having this issue. Now, if you've had the if you've bought the iPhone 5 or upgraded to iOS 6, well, but most of this is because of iPhone 5. If you've gotten the iPhone 5, which obviously has iOS 6, a lot of people have said that they're having issues with Wi-Fi, whether that be not being able to connect to Wi-Fi or that they're getting connection, but like the way I've had, they're not able to get the speeds that they would normally get on their network. So with me, this issue did happen where I meant to be getting around 40 MB downloads. And on my iMac, if I go to speedtest.net, here is a screenshot I did earlier. I am getting around 38 MB which is near enough 40, I mean you can't get 40 in the dock, but you know what I mean. But on the iPhone, I was only getting around 8 MB down, and that is ridiculous. Like, if I was getting around 20, I'd be okay, like, it's only 10, okay, like, because it's the phone, you might think, okay, it might not be able to handle that much Wi-Fi, but I mean, 8 MB is ridiculous. And then I thought, I tried playing around with my network settings, and so on and so forth, checked a bit of Apple Forms, and then I came to a realization that if I opened up my network and made it unsecure, I know people will be screaming at me right now saying, are you crazy? But hear me out. If you open up your network and make it unsecure and then connect your iPhone 5 to that network, you might start noticing a quick increase in your Wi-Fi speeds. Now I did this and I was actually getting full speed exactly the way I'm getting on my iMac. I was getting 37 MB down on my iPhone. But the problem obviously is that the network is insecure, so that is dangerous. And then I thought, and then I re-secured my network, made it go back to being a secure network, did the test again, and surprisingly, the test, um, the speeds remained the same, as in, I was now getting the faster speeds which I was meant to get, like I showed you in the screenshot, which is 38 MB on my iPhone. So the quick fix, long story short, the quick fix for this is, in my opinion, this is how it worked for me. It might or might not work for you if you're having this issue. R unsecure your network, make it an open network with no passwords whatsoever. Connect your iPhone to that network. Check your speeds. If you're getting the speed you're meant to be getting on your Wi-Fi, amazing, wicked, it's worked. And then re-secure that network back to the way it was or whatever password you use on your network. And hopefully, if everything goes correct and your router restarts and everything, you should now be able to have perfect Wi-Fi on your iPhone 5. And this did work for me. And um, I posted a screenshot of this to one of my friends on um, Twitter. Let me quickly open that up for you. So if we go into my profile and um, where's that? Where is it? Here it is. Okay, this tweet is no longer available. I don't know why. But I did send him, um, I sent him a screenshot of the kind of Wi-Fi I was getting before the update and um, before this little fix and now I am getting perfect Wi-Fi which is 37 MB down so that was a quick video to let you guys know about a fix if you're having these issues and I'll see you again hopefully very soon because I am going to be um, editing a case review so I'll see you very soon another time in another video take care